group three elements, the start of the transition series, predominantly exhibit the plus three oxidation number. And the group 12, like we saw, exhibit the plus two oxidation state. All other transition elements show a great variety of oxidation states. The minimum oxidation number of valency is generally the number of NS electrons, except for the group three elements, of course. The higher oxidation states involve removal of or participation of the N minus one D electrons in bond formation. While the S block elements show only group valency and P block elements show either the group valency or a valency less by two due to the inert pair effect. The possible valencies exhibited by the D block elements do not differ by two but by one. For the first five elements in any series, the maximum oxidation number is exhibited as the sum of the Ns and the N-1D electrons. Group 7 onwards, notice here that the electrons in the orbitals, the d orbitals, now start pairing up. Group 7 onwards, the maximum oxidation number is not very related to the electronic configuration. The highest oxidation number of plus 8 is exhibited by osmium and the lowest oxidation number of plus 1 is exhibited by quite a few elements. Copper, silver, rhenium, gold, mercury, many more. As a trend, you will notice a beautiful pyramid of the number of oxidation states shown by the transition elements. From left to right in a series, it increases for the first five elements as the number of unpaired n minus 1 d electrons increase. And this decreases after the first five because the n minus 1 d electrons start pairing up and lesser electrons are available for bonding. The Compounds of elements in the lower oxidation state. These compounds tend to be ionic. The higher ones are predominantly covalent in nature.